When I talk to clients about running video campaigns in Google Ads, the biggest pushback I get is that there's a lack of creative. What I mean by this is that they don't have an in-house team that can make new video creative for us to use for ads, or maybe they just don't want to pay for someone to make it because they have it in their mind that creating video can be really expensive. Well, first, I disagree with that because we all have some pretty high video quality within our phones, and you can find some pretty cheap or free editing tools to make your own videos. But if you don't want to use the phone, that's fine. YouTube just announced a video builder tool. So within this tool, we can create video content, upload it to our YouTube channels, and then use that for advertising. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can sign up for it because this tool right now is still in beta, and then a few examples of some videos you can create to potentially use for your video campaigns. So let's dive in. Today's video is brought to you by Shape, an all-in-one PVC budgeting solution that'll allow you to control, organize, and collaborate on ad spend at scale. You ready to start saving some time? Good. Well, then click on the link below and you can learn all about Shape. The YouTube Video Builder tool is still in beta. So to get access, you need to go to this URL, which is on the screen right now, and fill out this simple form. You just need your email address and the customer ID for your Google Ads account. Now the form page says the request may take up to five business days. So after you fill out the form, hopefully you can get access pretty quick. And if you missed the form URL, we have it in the description below so you can still sign up. So when I did get my confirmation email, that link sent me to the YouTube Video Builder. And this is what we initially see. Advertisers can choose from a variety of templates depending on what they want their video campaign goal to be. If I scroll down a little bit, we see options for product catalog, we see product or service consideration, we have promos, we have a few branding videos, a few options to promote your app, a few more brand videos, and then a phone interaction template on the bottom. Now the templates range from six second ads, where you're familiar with those bumper ad formats. A lot of them are also 15 seconds, and then a few of them go up one more second to 16 seconds. So the time length on that video is gonna help you probably make a decision of which one would be better. Do you just want a quick little reminder for users just so you're staying on top of mind, or do you want to have something that's a little bit more engaging to keep the user wanting to watch more of the video. So I'm not going to go through every single one of these templates. I just want to show you how easy it is to create a video ad from a few of these templates. So I'm going to choose the highlight product catalog one. Now when you open up the template, you can preview what it looks like with some pre-made options that Google already has in place. And besides previewing it, Google is going to tell you exactly what you need to make this video within the builder. So for this particular template, we'll need two logos, five images, and 14 text areas. While it can help you get some ideas to prep on what you exactly need, I still recommend going into the actual layout so you get more specific information on the exact dimensions and specs that you'll need for these images. So when I choose to use this template, the first thing that we could do is select our colors. So for my primary color, I just chose red. Text, I can leave black. Next, you'll want to add your two logos, and Google's gonna show you the recommended size and orientation of what they want this image to be. Now, just for fun, I had to choose something Star Wars related. I don't work with Lego or Star Wars at all. This is all just so I can show you an example of how a video would look. And I purposely used a logo that wasn't within the recommended size. So even though I could still use this logo, you're gonna get a few warnings saying that it might not look as good as you want it to be just because we're not using the proper dimensions, but it's okay. If you are happy with the logos you chose, now we can go down a little bit. Next, we need to add our five images. Your first First image for this template is going to be a lifestyle image so we can see a specific size and orientation there and if I look down we're gonna see the recommended sizes for the remaining four images and all four of those are the same so I'm gonna go up and start adding my images and scrolling around a little bit you can see I'm getting yelled at just because my images are not the right size that Google would want but I just kind of pulled these online you will have the time to actually go back and research the proper sizes so you can format it exactly how Google would like it but after your images are done now we need to scroll back down to the text area you're gonna start off with some main message text that you will add to your video and there's gonna be some direction on where this text is going to be so we can see it's gonna be a main message this is gonna be the message for image one and as we scroll down and we start adding prices to some of the product images that we have above. So all in all, there is a decent amount of text if you're choosing this product template. So I'm going to quick copy and paste in all the areas because we have to fill in every single one of them. But then you'll be able to see all these different text elements at the end when we preview the video. I now have all of my text areas filled in and I'm making sure I'm staying within the character limits for each text area. If you're happy with all your decisions, 
so that we can scroll down to the font. There's gonna be a default option, but if you don't like it, you could remove it. If you have a specific font in mind, you could type it in and see if it's available. You may have specific brand standards and you may want your brand font to be replicated in the video as close as possible. So you do have the ability to choose from a variety of different fonts. I'm just gonna leave it as the default option for now. Next, Google offers a library of music that we can add to your video creative. If you wanna hear a preview of what it looks like, just select the option, and then you can hit the play button and get a preview of what the sound will be. If you are happy with all of your options, just go and click create video, and then it'll take a little time for Google to start making your video and putting it all together. Now remember when you signed up for the beta, you gave them a specific email address. You will wanna make sure that that email address is also associated with the proper YouTube channel you wanna to use to run these video campaigns. So here's my personal YouTube channel. I can change and edit the video title of what I want it to be, and then I'll be able to save that video to my channel, but we don't wanna do that yet. All right, before we save it, let's preview and see what this video would look like. And that is my video creative. That quick, I can go in and create something that we can use to start promoting products. Now, if there was any part of that video that you don't like, you can hit edit. When you edit your video, you're gonna be sent right back to the create your own video step. And you can scroll back to any of the other options and change anything. Maybe an image looked funny, or you didn't like the message next to an image, you wanna switch it up, go ahead and you can do that. Make all the edits that you need to make, and then again, click create video. We're gonna to have to wait again. It might take several minutes, so how's everyone doing? Good, okay, let's move on. Assuming everything in the video looks great, you're happy with it, you wanna start using it, just click save video. Again, more waiting, but it really only takes a couple seconds. And now our video is saved. I'm gonna hop over to my YouTube Studio account really quick just to show you. After your video was saved, you can see it is now in my video section for my YouTube channel. And the visibility is unlisted. Unlisted means that if someone goes to your YouTube channel and they click on the video section, they won't be able to see this specific video creative. The only way that they can find an unlisted video is if they have the specific link to the video watch page. If you edit the details of the video, you can choose to make it public if you want. Personally, if I'm going in and creating a lot of different advertisements, I like to leave these unlisted as well, especially if you want to test out a different variety and have a few ad combinations. If you leave all of these different creatives public, you're going to flood your video channel with a bunch of 15 second promo ads, and that can actually be a turnoff. So I'm going to leave it as unlisted. But the important part here is when your video is saved, you can either get this link from YouTube Studio, but the video builder tool gives you this YouTube link, which is very helpful. Why? Because we can easily just click copy, then head on over to the ad group we have created within Google Ads and paste in that URL. Now I'm assuming you already have the campaign created and your campaign settings and your ad group with the exact targeting options that you want, but now you can go in and start filling in the rest of your ad. We'll need the final URL and one of the most important parts, your call to action extension. And there we could see that is how our video ad will look with the call to action extension on mobile and then on desktop. So in this case, I'm running a 16 second promo ad. If the user watches all 16 seconds, that's when I'm gonna be charged for that view. If they skip my ad before it's completed, that video view is going to be free, but my call to action extensions are still going to be there. And then if a user clicks on my call to action extension, that's when I'm gonna be charged as the advertiser. I click save, there's my video ad. I'm ready to start pushing these products in front of a targeted audience. It really is that simple. So that was one example of a product template. I just wanna go back into the video builder tool and show you another example. Let's go down and choose one of the branding templates. Again, we could preview to see if this template is right for my video goals. Not bad for free, huh? And again, we could see for this video, we need a logo, three images, and a couple text areas. So let's choose this one. Again, we'll customize our brand colors. Michelle and I are a fan of purple, so we're just gonna choose that one. Let's do some teal, make it a little 80s style. And then we'll choose our logo. Again, not really making Google happy with the size, but we're just gonna deal with it. Scrolling down, this time we only have three images. And this one is a lot shorter, only four text items with this specific brand template. I'm gonna leave the font as the default option. Now I wanna choose some different music though. Yeah, that'll do. So let's create this video. Same as always, we can customize the video title and we can preview it. Let's see what it looks like. And 
I personally would spend much more time on this to make it look a lot more clean. Definitely want a bigger logo. Not a fan of the teal font color. So again, I can go back in and edit it, but let's just keep moving on and save it. And same thing again, as we did with the last video. If I go back into my YouTube studio, there's the new one, unlisted, ready for me to use, and I can edit any of the descriptions and details of that video. Hopping back into the video builder tool, there's the link again from my unlisted video. I can start going right back in to Google ads, potentially just create a new campaign by clicking that button and start building that one from scratch. Now, one thing I didn't talk about with the last video is this button right here. If I click the create a new version of this ad, everything I chose for this recent video is still all in here. But now I can go in and create a different version, potentially testing new images, maybe testing out different text, and then I can go and create another video. This gives the advertiser options to create a bunch of different videos that they can test against each other. So not only can you create one version, you can now test a bunch of different video creatives and see which ones are gonna engage with users the most. You don't have to shoot a bunch of different videos or hire another third-party team to create a ton of different video edits for you. You can all do it yourself in some easy copy-paste mode within the YouTube Video Builder. This tool is so easy to use. You don't need any video editing experience. You just need to have your brand message figured out and images that you could use to create your videos. And that is the YouTube Video Builder tool. Again, it is still in beta at the time of this recording, so we may see some features change, we may see some new ones come along, who knows. But now you have a good reason to go sign up, try to get into this beta, and you have a free way of creating new creative to use for your video campaigns within Google Ads. There's no more excuses anymore. All right, so good luck on your video campaigns, and hopefully you can find a template that really fits your business. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.